All right, guys, welcome back to the channel here. In today's video on the Boss GT1000 Core, I'm gonna take you through the different parts of the Boss Tone Studio. And let's kick it off here by taking a look at the editor. And the editor is where you have your signal chain laid out, you have your different blocks of effects, and this is where you can set up, adjust, and change your patches and the effects parameters. Up here in the left corner, we have the two tabs, which is preset and user tabs. And the preset tab is all the factory um, adjusted or installed presets here. And you can go through them and hear what they sound like. You can also go to the user, which are pretty much, or at least somewhat identical here. But the difference between the two is that on the user patches, you have free um, adjustability. You can go in, make changes, save them, and all that your imagination can, can think of. You are a little bit more limited to the preset patches. Um, and that's just why they split them up into two here. So this is the overall layout here. And with the editor here, you can see that we have the different uh, effect blocks and signal change just laid out here. And we can go and we can click on the different things. We can go in and activate them and deactivate them. And we can also go in and move around different effects if we just press and hold down and then just drag them to anywhere in the signal chain. And you have a different selection of dividers and mixes here. So you can actually go pretty deep in routing all of these out. You have your divider one, two, and three, and you have your mixer one, two, and three. So if you wanted to have like one signal chain as we see it here, but you would only like to have the first row here, you could basically take all of the second row here and simply just drag them over here into the next divider here and the divider in general is just your channel selector so if you have one preamp set up over here you will be able to toggle between two different preamps just like you normally would when changing channels on your preamp but you could also do this to set up different chains of effects um, for example if you wish to have a clean um, chain going up here and an overdriven or boosted chain down here you could do that as well and um, it is basically up to your imagination and how you basically want to deep dive into this and route all of these different options and um, it's great that the options are there because you are capable of setting up quite a powerful rig just using all of this here and um, yeah you have just your different uh, options up in the right hand corner here you have your right or clear and if I go into clear this, it will just say that the tone setting will be temporarily uh, initialized, which will just take it and restore it back to its default state. And it's pretty good if you just want to go right back and just do any new modification or just start completely from scratch. And up here is also the place where you go in and you write your patches when you're done setting them up and you can Select from the menu here where you want to store them if it's not on the selected location. You can also name the patch and then just press right and then you're good to go. And yeah, as you see down here, once you press on one of the tabs here, it will just take you into the different settings of that particular effect block. And um, you can navigate through the different type of overdrive distortions, delays, choruses and reverbs, basically any effects that you would like to control here. And um, yeah, this just lets you see the whole signal chain and it's easy to navigate through here. So um, you can just go through them. And as you see here, there are quite a lot of user patches, 250 user slots, which you can program and set up in any way that you could possibly want to. So overall, that is looking really good here. So just a quick overview on the editor here in the Boss Tone Studio for the GT1000 Core. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the section down below and I'll just be happy to get back to you. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.